The Center for Environmental Microbial Interactions is this terrific interdisciplinary group that promotes work done on campus by a variety of investigators. It allows faculty to work on a project that is in its early stages. So our research for my pact was directly supported by the SEMI in one of their seed grants. And it was a fantastic experiment because it turned out to work better than our wildest dreams. So when Diane approached me, at first I was intrigued. I thought, we are a neuroscience lab, you are doing work with bacteria and human specimens. I could see it merging and I could see how the technologies that we've developed for a completely different purpose to map brain circuits could actually help in understanding pathogens in cystic fibrosis. To have success in any project in the lab, it all comes down to having really good people. People who are not only bright and motivated, but also willing to be patient and tenacious. And Will and Ruth had all those qualities, um, and they were really helped by other people in Viviana's lab as well as mine. Our lab in Viviana's lab worked very closely. We obviously used her, her PAC method to, as the basis. We also worked with something called HCR, hybridization chain reaction, which Niles Pierce in his lab developed. So it was very collaborative, a thing that probably couldn't have been done at a place other than Caltech, or at least Caltech made it much easier. My pack was designed to be very flexible, um, and we optimized it for rendering sputum transparent and you know, preserving those components. The first few steps were troubleshooting how to actually clear the sputum and get them transparent, and then we had to troubleshoot how to individually label and tag the bacterial species in there. Once we saw the complete picture, so cleared sputum with labeled bacteria and you could see their orientation and their associations with host cells and other bacteria, it was really, it was amazing to see that on the microscope for the first time. Since we use different colors to image different components, um, there's actually one image we dubbed Stairway to Heaven because it was this stairway of host cells with bacterial cells also attached to it with this like glow of mucin around it. So it was, it was pretty cool looking. We get all our information by confocal microscopy, taking individual planes through a sample so that you can compile those stacks together and, and look at them in a 3D sort of way. The mucin is, is very thick, so when we just look at that, it's hard to see the bacterial cells, but then you can take that away, unmask basically the bacteria there, and then rotate the sample and, and zoom through and sort of get a good feel for where everything is. The collaboration with the Newman lab showed us two things. First, the impact that the tissue clearing could have on understanding bacteria and host interactions. And the other thing was that the methods that we've been developing of tissue clearing and labeling and imaging are quite versatile. And with particular adjustments, they can be made work for a variety of applications. My pact provides a first glimpse of what's going on and I think this technique has the potential to help other people working on different problems literally see things that they've never been able to see before too. And in this way, the semi will have catalyzed something that potentially will have really big impact.